In a design defect case, a manufacturer makes a design-conforming product that a consumer alleges is unreasonably dangerous. One theory of recovery in these cases is strict liability. Under a strict liability theory, the consumer needn't prove the defect's cause, but the consumer does need to prove that the defect caused the injury. In Ford Motor Company v. Matthews, we examine to what extent a consumer's mishandling of a defective product breaks the chain of causation. In 1965, Ray Brothers Tractor Company bought a tractor from Ford Motor Company. To prevent tractors from starting in gear, Ford installed a safety mechanism containing a switch and a plunger. In 1966, Ford warned Ray that the safety mechanism's plunger was potentially defective and could cause in-gear starts. Ray took no action, and Ford didn't follow up. Ray sold the tractor but later reacquired it after it incurred fire damage. Ray's Ford-authorized technicians refurbished the tractor, replacing fire-damaged parts but keeping undamaged parts, like the defective plunger. Ernest Matthews bought the refurbished tractor, but neither Ford nor Ray warned Matthews of the defective plunger. As was customary, Matthews stood beside the tractor to start it. The owner's manual recommended checking that the tractor was out of gear before starting, but Matthews started the tractor without checking. The tractor moved forward and dragged Matthews under a cutting attachment, which led to his death. The administratrix of Matthews' estate, Ethel Matthews, filed a wrongful death suit against Ford and Ray. Based on a product's liability theory, Ethel alleged that Ford and Ray were strictly liable in light of the tractor's defective plunger. Ray was then dropped from the suit. The trial court found for Ethel, and Ford appealed to the Mississippi Supreme Court. 